<laughs> it's like I don't want to die. <laughs> Everyone and their grandmother wants to go or has been to Thailand. As I've previously traveled in countries like Bangladesh and Iraq, it seems like Thailand is a country with no more rugged adventures and raw travel experiences to be had, right? The whole country just seems like a massive tourist trap. Well, not exactly. Besides the islands in the south, Bangkok, and the north, there's literally this whole chunk in the middle that no one goes to. So we set out to discover this area with zero destination in mind. Well, besides our first stop, the monkey town of Lot Puri. Other than that, we had no real plan. Just wherever these crappy bikes would take us. We ended up staying and visiting the local markets of Fitsamulok, and later converted to Buddhism in the city of Nakon Sawa. Sorry, I'm definitely pronouncing these places wrong. Enjoy our journey into the most unknown parts of Thailand. What a genius idea to rent motorcycles in a city with some of the worst traffic in the world. We're gonna go to some mysterious monkey temple in a town that's population is completely controlled by the monkey species. Monkey oh. species. Make sure you get all that sunscreen on. From there, we're gonna start a bigger journey into the unknown parts of what country you're in? Thailand? Thailand. We're gonna go to uh, Northeast Thailand, which is like, there ain't much there. So yeah. nobody's going there. So we're going who, there. Who knows what mysteries we'll find there. But uh, for today, we're gonna go make some monkey friends. My favorite kind of friends. Thank you, sir. Do you wanna lather my face? No, you can lather your face. Dude, I love it when you lather my face with your cream. Sweet. How's the bum? Oh, the bum is tired, my dude. We made it out of Bangkok. It took like, how long is that? Like an hour? More? Yeah, it's like an hour and 20 minutes. You know you're out of the city when there's no English on these menus. It's kind of just point and say that. Okay, what do you want? Um, there's a pet shop right there. It's a struggle for you since you don't eat meat. Yeah, I don't, I don't care. Sorry? No, nothing. nothing. Oh my gosh. Where do I find food? They have food? Okay, yeah. thank you, thank you. No more noodle lady, we go to rice lady. One rice with everything. Yes, meat. meat. Yes. Yes, egg, yes. Thank you, thank you. Chili sauce. Are you gonna dabble with the chili sauce? Okay, so yeah. What a hearty breakfast we have here. Egg. Um, mystery meat. I think it might be pork. Let me let me try that. I reckon it is a pork and rice. Take a bite with everything. That's dank, dude. Try a little bit of spicy vinegar. Uh. Ooh. What do you make of Thai food? I like it. It's very fresh. I like the like the cheap food is either like absolutely fresh or just like the most garbage 7-Eleven food. 7-Eleven food is not garbage. We can literally just live off 7-Eleven. All right, onward and upward. When you're on a little roadie in Thailand, the benefits is that you just pull over on the side of the road when you see cool stuff like this. In a lot of like North American or European places, you would have like an entrance fee and it doesn't seem like there's really anything going on here. No, besides this lady selling bubble tea. This thing is amazing, dude. It's like made from bricks. You reckon we're allowed to climb it? Wes just went for it, so I'm gonna go as well. I must say this is a cool place. Like there's literally no one here. Much a different experience than to going to the islands and getting blackout drunk. Not to say I don't like that, but we're kind of on a mission considering all these 20 something year olds these day and age since Thailand opened, it's infested with them, these broke backpackers. So we're trying to find, yeah, yeah exactly. We're trying to find the areas of the country that are not infested with them. And I think we're doing all right job. I'd like to get some bubble tea sure. from the kind bubble tea lady. Hello, you, you work here? Yes? I think she, she nodded her head like she works here, but I think she's taking her, her sweet ass time. I'm just gonna wait here until someone wants to give me one of these beautiful beverages. Y'all not like making money? These guys pulled up and she got out for them. 
but I was just waiting here. She did not want to move. I don't know how I'm going to order. I'm just going to point. Whatever one looks good. I'm just going to come back. Let me see, Mr. Artiste. Oh, you're doing a fantastic job. Should I try to get a beverage again? This chick's got it out for me. What's a gorgeous man got to do to get a beverage around here? This is a temple that 120 years old up. 120 years yes, old yes. and more. Oh, I'm going to get a drink. But I don't know how you, how would I call this? Maybe I could say I tea, green tea, yeah, rice. But uh, how would I say this in Thai? I'm gonna tell her. Oh, <laughs> uh, cha kiao. Cha kiao. Yes, Thai language. Cha kiao. Cha kiao. Okay. Yes. How do you oh. say one? One. Uh, cha kiao one. I have some help from some locals. Ani lam lam yai. Lam yai. Lam yai. Lam yai. Yes. <laughs> I'm learning. Heck yeah. What do you recommend I drink? Oh, uh, I, I I think it's okay. Ani ren original. This, original. This oh. Ren original, but. Oh wow, that's a lot of meat. <laughs> Enjoy your meat. I'm gonna get one one beverage. Uh, how do you say this again? Cha kiao. Cha kiao. Cha kiao neng One one cha kiao. Yes, one cha kiao. Cha kiao. Oh, cha kiao have the uh, mix the in, uh, inside it have soda inside it. Soda. Like so you try? Yeah, let's try. Okay. Wow. Uh, soda, uh, green tea, cream. Yeah. So new for me. I think it's like Italian soda. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. yeah. It's like, <laughs> like soda water and this. Uh, yeah. and even the. Uh, I, I don't think it's what I expected. I thought that was like green tea, but it's a true Thai mystery beverage. Good thing I got a local. I would not know what was going on. Oh, 25 baht. 25 baht? Cheap. My job is cooking, cooking. You're a cook? Yes, Thai cook, Thai cook. What kind of food? Thai food. Oh, thank you. Thank you. One sec. Looks a lot different than what I ordered, huh? Eh? <laughs> yeah, I know. No, it's okay. It's okay. I want to try this one. It's better. It looks good. Oh, very good. Good. Uh, Mystery flavor. Uh, okay. I like it. Yes. Okay. So thank you, sir. Thank you. Good to meet you. Thank you have a great day. <laughs> Dude, this is cool. Try this. True mystery beverage. Oh, it's so sweet. It's so sweet, but I'm having trouble describing the flavor. A little bit minty. A little bit sour green apple. Yeah, with a little bit of mint. Nito Bobito. Back to our steeds. Mmm. Our sexy rides. Leslie. Yes, Do you have high hopes for an $18 hotel in the middle of Thailand? Will you do the honors? Humble abode. They better MCG. gave us two beds. Imagine she gave oh us one bed. God. She it's did give us two beds. Puppies! She, she didn't know we were lovers. That is pretty cute. Puppies! <laughs> Chill out there, bud. I'm content. I'm kind of tripping. I got a message from a homie that told me he got bit here. Like, I thought these were supposed to be nice, happy monkeys. But apparently they're ravenous, steal your <laughs> shit. Raf, raf, raf monkeys. Holy cow. Are you a monkey trainer? <laughs> me personally, they scare the shit out of me. Oh, nice monkey. <laughs> Dude, these friendly local people just live amongst monkeys. I'm actually scared to walk down this Dude, street. Shit Skid row, but for monkeys, man. Oh my god. Look at all you little crackhead monkeys. I bet this. Business literally had to be abandoned because of the monkeys. Clearly, like, the businesses can't operate anymore because we're literally in the skid row of monkeys. Dude, this is nuts. This one doesn't have any fur. How old are you? Do you want to just, like, sit on a ledge and see what happens? That one is picking his friend's bum. Dude, they have, like, tags on them. This one wants to follow me for some reason. I don't know if like if he gets on me if he's gonna bite me. This is like the first business on the street that's been open. Oh, dude, it's a turf war. Dude, he's coming to fuck someone up. Dude, look at all them down here. Dude, they could attack from above. They could like see, dude, they're in such a good position to attack from above. Oh my gosh. Dude, oh, the monkey tried to grab the kitty. Look, they're trying to grab the cat. The monkeys are on the cat. The monkeys are riding the cat. Oh my god, oh my god. This is hilarious. Non-consensual monkeys. Where'd the kitty go? I need to make sure you are safe. Dude, why is it shook? What? Oh. 
Well, now what am I supposed to do? You already worked them up. Now I gotta walk through. Don't make eye contact. It's bad to make eye contact. <laughs> they are little humans, truthfully. I am a human. I am your superior. We're about to enter a monkey favela. Wes is sticking back. He did not want to come to the monkey favela. They've completely overrun this shack. This shack belonged to a nice tax attorney and his family, and they completely took it over. Come on, you're evicted, you, you squatters. Get out of here. Oh my goodness. I want to enter it, but... I have bodyguards posted up. What are you eating? You're eating a string? That's not food. Okay, they've got me shook. Monkey hole? What's in your monkey hole, sir? Are you learning to tie knots? Is that your monkey whip? Let me see. Yes, do it. <laughs> wow. Great job, sir. The monkey police. <laughs> So we figured out this town has monkey police. Holy shit, holy shit, holy shit. God, they're gonna get hit by cars. Like, why do you fight over food in the middle of the road? Oh, he's about to get hit. It's stupid to fight over food in the middle of the road, guys. Like, maybe this is their feeding ground where they like bring the scraps. Yeah, look, there's so many bananas and shit here. Like, why are you guys fighting? There's so much food here, guys. But I'm just surprised there's not like, a lot more here like there's so many bananas and shit yet i see them trying to eat garbage like i thought they're pretty smart animals maybe it's like just this clan has like it's their turf you know maybe there's a turf war if like another clan of monkeys comes here i was gonna say it seems like they each have their own little like section you know, yeah. in little hoods you know they all have a bunch of clans so yeah maybe there's a turf war surrounding the bananas i wonder what would happen if i tried to grab a banana I'm gonna take your food. I reckon these ladies are selling monkey feed. Hello, monkey feed. Hello, monkey feed. Hello, hello, hello. Oh, what are they like? 100. You have this? 100. Holy, it's a lot. For, I mean, they have a good business model, I gotta say. Thank you. They're nice, see? See, they're nice. He looks scary, so I'm gonna keep him Here, one. Let me, let me have one. Hello. Hello. <laughs> oh, monkey man. Look, 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 look. Oh, yeah, we got one on you. They say go up there to get him off the street. <laughs> dude, dude, this is not cool. <laughs> I'm gonna die. I'm literally gonna die. <laughs> I would just like throw some away from you. Hey, grab me. <laughs> it's like I don't want to die. <laughs> Better pick it up. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Ah. Like that. No, I was kind of having fun with them on me. Yeah. <laughs> oh do you you want to try now? No, I'm yes. taking it away from me, dude. Yes, you try. Dude, I do not like the monkeys. Oh no, they know I got food. Take it. Just take it from me. Take it from me, you fucking dweeb. Stop following me. Stop following me. Take it. Take it. Take it! Take it, you bastard! Leave me alone! I don't want no trouble. I don't want no trouble. I just want you to be fed. I'm not looking for trouble. I'm not looking for, for any trouble. Let's see if we can play the game. Open my palm. There you go. Oh, there you go. <laughs> try it, dude. I don't like it. Here, I'll, I'll feed. Just give me one. Who wants to try their luck with the palm? There you go. Good. Okay, wait. Let's try it now and... There you go. No. <laughs> okay, just take it. Just take it. There. Now get off of me. Get off. Please. <laughs> Good job. What is it? Which one? No. Ah, dude. You look so mad, dude. He didn't get mad, though. No, he was chill. Who wants to play the game? Okay. He knows it's in one hand. Okay, okay. 
<laughs> Nothing I could do about it. He's got the whole thing now. Oh well. Okay, monkey temple time. Hello. How much? St sticks are free? So our entrance into the temple comes with a stick. Thank you. I can't wait to swat the shit out of these monkeys. It was all fun and games until they gave me a damn stick. These guys are defenseless. Where, where is your stick, guys? Yeah. You didn't come here to fucking whack monkeys? <laughs> it's the only reason I came to this temple is to whack the monkeys. Homie knows what the stick means. Look, he's tweaking. Why are you on drugs? I looked this guy in the eye. You wanna take the stick? Uh, he, 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 he is not enthusiastic about me. Oof. There certainly is plenty over here. That guy's just kicking them. Fair play. I have my defense ready. Definitely, definitely the most dangerous thumbnail I've ever had to get. Dude, look at this guy's chin. Why do you have chin balls, sir? He has full, he has a full set of chin balls. My gosh. Oh, this guy's, look, he's fully passed out, fully sleeping. Wow. There's so many here. But they're pretty calm, to be honest. Yeah, these ones seem more chill than the ones that are back alley. Yeah, dude, these ones are like human, human monkeys. They're very chill. This is my attempt to live within the monkeys. Is there no glare? There's one on my back. There's one on my back. Jeez. What, is he? Going to. Oh, can you swat him off? <laughs> Dude, swat him off. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I swear I felt him nibbling on my back or something. He was, too. <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> He's gone for a ride. <laughs> He's not letting go. What do you want from me? Thank you, monkey. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's going. Dude, this one does not give a shit. <laughs> oh, he, he sees your. Oh, dude, he's gonna get your water. <laughs> he's got my stick now. Oh, they're fighting over my stick. What, what's he, what are you after? <laughs> he's gonna cut my stick. <laughs> yeah, actually. He's, <laughs> he's biting my... He's biting my stick. Dude, how am I supposed to get that stick? This is crazy. No, it's my stick, you dingbat. I, they're gonna get both my sticks now. <laughs> Dude, I'm pretty over it, dude. I got to say, I've had enough monkeys. I feel defensive. <laughs> to be honest, dude. Cool temple, though. Yeah. I don't understand why they go all over the bus. What is the point? Of yeah, like, good question. maybe it's just like it's new and it's fun to them. <laughs> they have so much good grip. Yeah. Dude, they're literally fighting on a bus. <laughs> he didn't want me to film them fucking. <laughs> he wants <laughs> Well, he wants my camera. Yeah, dude, he wants something. What do you want from me, bucko? I'm not gonna feed you. He wants to watch them fuck. Wow, they're really going at it. Are they? They're trying to hide now. They're trying to hide behind the pole. He wants my camera. Look what's going on. This guy just came to drop off food. Holy. Wild man. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Look at them all. Holy crap. My God. This is insane. Wow. What a, what a nice man. He just loves the monkeys so much, he comes and gives them food every day. Thank you, sir. All right, that's enough monkeying around for one day. 
Uh, we're gonna go get some feed, and tomorrow we're gonna keep making our way into rural Thailand. Where are we going tonight? I can't pronounce it. It starts with a P, and it's like literally smack dab in the middle of Thailand, and it's not really a notable place. Fitzanulok? Fitzanulok. That's where it is, and there's, there's nothing really around that uh, anybody's ever heard of. All right, we're hitting the road. Gonna do a couple hours of biking, then get some brekkie. Cannabis. Oh, I stalled it out. I'm a bastard. But Wes, you're not allowed here. No? You you have you are a stoner. Oh, it says no hippie stoners. We'll see if we can communicate what we want here. Point and hope for the best method. How do I get off this? This is difficult. Ugh. That was acrobatic. I'm just gonna point at the vermicelli noodles there. For me? This one? The leg. Yes. With um ah. I'll let her surprise me. She can make it up with whatever she wants to. <laughs> He's learned to say no meat. <laughs> I don't know if I'm saying that right, but... That. Oh, Gucci Mickey Mouse. Gucci. Gu Gucci Mickey Mouse. I guess oh. the no meat did not translate. Um, oh, dude, you got a bunch of meat. Like, you were literally putting no meat on your phone. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I guess it doesn't... Uh... Really? Yeah. Dude, they never hear people saying that there. They all eat meat. Well... I'll, uh, I'll help you out here, dude, sir. She'll complain to her manager. <laughs> Yay, more meat for seal. I'm gonna be getting the meat sweats on this bike. Oh, a drink? What are you offering? This some um, mystery. <coughs> mystery Fanta. I will take one of these. It looks like Fanta. There's a lot of mystery green things. Like, you had that custard bun yesterday. And now I'm having this green so soda. Thank you very much. Oh, wow, okay. Look, we can share it. Wow, she was really thinking with her brain. Oh no, she dropped her purse. Wow, this is like some gastro bar vibes, dude, cheers. Yeah, dude, it looks like a fancy cocktail. I like that. The point and hope for the best method, I'd say work. Okay, ciao, bye. What's this? Yes, yes, exactly. Road to nowhere is where we're going. No d destination in mind. I just handed that fine lady a hundred and she was good. So that's like what? We played four dollars for the two of us? Dude, I hate doing this. <laughs> uh, okay, the battery shot again. So Wesley's got to look like a dumbass doing the running start thing. She, she's come to examine. She's a noodle slinger and a mechanic. Here he goes. She's laughing at him. He's got to do this a couple times. Chain already fell off today, so I got a dud chain and I got a dud bike. Look at the hustle on him. Oh, I got it. The thing is like, we're getting farther and farther away from Bangkok and this is not running any better every day. So it's like, shit, they kind of put us in a little bit of a predicament. We're gonna keep going, but I might have to get Wes to start it like this every freaking day. Thank you for your moral support. Have a good day. How, how many times is this gonna happen? Like, how is it we get dealt, we get rented this shitty ass bike that never wants to start, and now we're just getting deeper, deeper into f***ing Thailand. And the bike just like, wants to act up. He can get it going. It's just like, dude, we don't want to f***ing do that every time. Like, that's ridiculous. That's not what we si signed up for. And it's not like we want to continue getting really deep into Thailand if we have to do this every time. Yeah, I'll just ride this one, dude. 
Yeah, dude, it's pretty ridiculous. Yeah. Like, if I didn't know how to do that, you'd just be f I know. Should we, like, ask them for some money back? Or, like, what? Like... Yeah. I gotta always vlog our misadventures. Oh, yeah. Dude, it, it's not just me. It's the bike. See, I ride your bike. And it goes completely fine. You go on this bike, chain falls off, battery dies. Luckily, Wesley's a professional motorcycle <laughs> professional mechanic. Um, so the chain fell off. Hopefully we can get it back on. Seal's gonna roll it while I try and thread the chain on. actually get it started. Thailand sucks. Where are all those beaches and temples all you white girls are going to? Oh baby! Looks like everything's coming up Millhouse. This was what I was picturing. Like a nice desolate road like this with rice fields. No smoke in my face, no construction, no breaking down the bikes. This, this is what's up. Yeah, this is what dreams are made of. This was like the adventure I was seeking out here. I don't know what they're farming out here, but God. Now this is flavor country out here. You just got it on your own? I think so. Oh, damn. I just got off my bike. Okay, go. I didn't even have a good grip. I didn't rub your back on it. After being on a bike for that long, this just feels so slow. How knackered are you, kiddo? Sore. My bum is a ton of sore. I feel like a kid in a candy shop, except the candy shop is a coal mine and the kid has tuberculosis. I am thoroughly surprised there's a hostel in this town. Like, we're kind of like in the middle of nowhere. I don't know who travels here besides stupid people like us. We just barged into this hostel yet, yeah, there's no one here. It says there's staff standby 24 hours. Oh, let's just check ourselves in, dude. I've done that at a hostel before. Oh. Stayed two days. No one even bothered me. Left right after. Didn't even see one staff member there. Which one? There. Okay. Thank you. You have Wi-Fi? Boom, boom. Boom, boom? It's written in there? Okay. You can show me. Ah, uh, yes. Perfect. Thank you so much. Where are we again? What's this place called? Uh, Phil something. Yeah, Phil. Phil's neighborhood. I reckon we're just gonna get some food because I'm absolutely shattered. Then I'm gonna turn it in for the night. Cool little local market here. Yeah, it's bumping. Bumping with um, a bunch of mystery snacks, I gotta say. We gotta do the lap first. Oh yeah, okay. That's the thing. Is you do the lap, that's some mystery juice right there. You do the lap and then you, you decide what you want, you know? Oh, hella pastries, dude. Okay, we're in the real lit part of the city right now. Look at how busy it is with bike. Graham is absolutely ripping through here. I do like the, the mango sticky rice stuff. That stuff slaps. This is the stuff you had yesterday. Yeah. yeah, they're only for five, huh? Yeah. Okay, let me see my chain situation right now and I'm probably gonna make a purchase. Hello. Hello. Two pandan? Two, two of them. Thank you so much, sir. Dude, this is so good. It's like a sweet green custard. It kind of tastes like pistachio, is what pandan kind of tastes like. Oh, mine has like some mm. kind of cum textured. Mmm, I love that. This lady's selling offerings. You buy those and you bring them to the bo bodega? How do you say it? Bogata? You bring them to the temple. You take them all the way to New York and go to your mm -hmm. local bodega. Mm -hmm. You buy the offerings in Thailand, bring them on a plane, bring them to your local bodega and exchange them for menthol cigarettes. I've been to a lot of countries, but when it comes to food and being puzzled, what I'm actually looking at, like 
Thailand is up there. Huh? This lady's got buggies. Oh, dude, look at these little jelly things. Which one are you getting? There's a green one. Just, just a random yellow. What are you sipping on, kiddo? I have no idea. It tastes like honey. Oh, it's like a honey water. I'm not too sure. I'm not too sure. This one, how much? Twenty. Twenty. There you are. Thank you. Dude, the tangerine juice here is better than any tangerine juice in the world. Oh, they're selling sushi here. I think that might be the sesh, buddy. Hello, sir. I might get some street sushi. You should. Hello. She finds me funny. Oh, and they got shrimpy patties. Yeah, I'm gonna get one of those. Yeah, get one of those. Uh, one of these. I think that has cream cheese. Oh, it does. I'm just gonna select a bunch and hope for the best. Yeah. Ah, yeah. Yeah, that one. Try this one. Try this one. 50. 50? Okay, there you are. Thank you, sir. Oh, 30. Yes, okay. Thank you, sir. Ah, all right, and I will spend my change here. Hello. One. Yes. On a crab cake. Just straight crabs in batter. Excellent. This good? 50? Okay. Good English skills on you. One sec, one sec. 100. There you go. I think she gave me two. Okay, you can have one if she gave me two. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah, give her 100. Oh, so it's 30. But people get mixed 15 and 50 mixed up all the time. But that's okay, they're very similar sounding numbers. Cheers. I don't mind it. It's just a shrimp cracker made of whole shrimp. Beautiful. Hello. One and one. Thank you. Excellent, thank you, great day. I got the mango and sticky rice. It's a popular item here, and I also got their version of a grapefruit. I very wanted to try this. I wanted to try this for a while. Can I go sit by the train tracks? Yeah, let's go sit by the tracks like hobos. I didn't realize these were jackfruit, but I've never had jackfruit and sticky rice, so. Oh, it's not bad. It's got a little sweetness to it. It's really good. Like yeah. Drink. It is. It's not like as sweet as a mango, but it still has some sweetness to it. I like that. Let's try the mystery citrus. That one's a little flavorless, but I think that's why they give you the sugar packs with it. Day three of this road to nowhere world tour. We're in some random town in the north. Put the name up there. Um, yesterday we did a lot of bullshitting around on highways and had a lot of bike problems. There's a lot of construction. We're going to take a more mellow route today. Maybe go through some farmer's fields. There's a random dog there. Go to the back country where the real life of Thailand is, you know? The rice cultivators. Uh, people do farm coconuts. Why are you so excited? Chill out. It's like 8 a.m. All right. Let's go find the heart and soul of Thailand and uh, in the countryside, shall we? We're not even out of the city yet. Yeah, my phone. Take a picture. yeah, take a picture. Send it to the tourist police. 15 minutes in, another chain off. Dude, you didn't even hit a bump this time. Oh, I know. How'd that happen? I don't know, it just fell off. <laughs> All right, let's do it. Okay, let's get going. Jet, we're mid. Ugh. Hi. How many more times are we gonna <coughs> do that today? Dude, this is fried! Up. do it on his own. What are we at? Like five, six now? It's number five. I think it's number six or seven. Hell yeah. Look at this. Like on a regular bike, you're supposed to have like this much slack in the chain. Yeah. They got they got pictures of the food. It makes it so much easier. Sorry, cop. 
Um, oh, they even have English. Oh, roasted duck? You have? Uh, no duck. No duck. Do you have pork? Chat. Barbecue pork. Yes. Uh, what do you want? You one. Uh, one mangsa wirat. Uh, no meat mangsa wirat. What is mangsa wirat? Maybe, yeah. It's vegetarian. Maybe don't type in vegetarian, just put in no meat. No. Mm -hmm. Point to an egg instead, maybe. Yeah, no, she's, she got it. Oh, she got it? Okay. This is water here? Yes. Oh, okay. I you order. Oh, you speak some English. Little bit. Little bit English. Yes. Okay. Yeah. No one out here speaks English, but good job. Thank you. Oh. Well, I don't know, she just gave us water, but I'm fine with that. We're literally in the Ohio of Thailand. I think it's just like the agricultural heartland. Yeah. Little pieces of sausages? Ah, look at that, no forks. We have to use the chopsticks. Dude, I didn't even realize they use chopsticks here. So I've been using the forks, but I like using chopsticks. I like the sauce. This is fire, dude. Dude, Nebraska? Not bad food. No. Not bad food out in Nebraska. Gucci. Yeah. This is the second noodle vendor we've seen in two days that have Gucci on. They love that. Um, I'm going to go check out the vending machine. Checking out a vending machine in the middle of Nebraska. Holy shit, look at this guy. Just wait for it. Wait for it. Well, I guess whenever your town isn't big enough for a 7-Eleven, you get the 7-Eleven vending machine. Ah, neato. This kid's using it. Oh no! It didn't work. Here. Look, it got stuck. Okay, one sec, I'll get for you. Oh no. Oh, it works! <laughs> What'd you get? Yeah. We got two! Oh my gosh, you meant to get one. You got two! You get two extra. Wow. Fist bump. You got two for the price of one. Crazy. Oh, these kids are shy out here. I kind of want one of those like Thai iced teas. Hopefully it works for me. They don't have it. Oh. oh. <laughs> see, they have this one right there, but I don't see it. Oh, maybe it was this one. Grass jelly. I think it's this one. I don't know, mystery snack. Let's go. Wait, 121? Oh, it's 12. Oh. <laughs> oh, I did not get, I wanted that, but I got just a big thing of tapioca. Wait, where'd it go? Oh, here it is. That's what you got. Yeah. Dude, you're fried. What if my big thing of tapioca ends up being the best thing you've ever tasted? It's cold. It's not bad. It's like kind of like maple syrupy. Try. You like it? I think that's what that drink we were drinking was the other day. Maybe. Yeah, it's just kind of sugary. It'd be good in like a bubble tea or something. All right, let's go cruise through Nebraska. Okay, I'm sorry, but why do they need to wear a mask while they're on the moto? Like, I get it, a lot of people wear masks out here, but she was literally on the moto, on this desolate road, not near anything, and she had a mask on. I'm not trying to sound like a, a tin foil hat or whatsoever, it just, that's a little puzzling to me. But, this route westbound is dope, we're taking this all the way to the next town. Should have been like a 45 minute ride, but maybe it's more now that we're on this road, but still. Dude. There's another pagoda here. Literally just on the side of the river here. There's a side of the river bank in a quiet little town. Not even a village around here. And cruise inside. These monks just got out. Yeah, I don't know how you're supposed to respect a monk. But the monks have tattoos, you know? Wake up. Hello. I can walk around? Or leave? 
It's okay? What? Take a picture. You want a pic? Yeah. Picture. Okay? Photo. <laughs> Photo. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Oh, up on the fountain. Okay. What are you, what are you doing up there? We'll take picture? <laughs> okay, okay. Okay. It's not a photo, it's just a video. You're, the language barrier is confusing me. Good job. Okay, good to meet you. Okay. <laughs> good to meet you. Very nice monastery you have here. But dude, this is crazy that this is just like on the side of the riverbank. And like going down this tiny little road, there's like dozens of these like huge complexes where these monks live, you know? Um, the monks have tattoos. They're dripped out in tattoos. I didn't know that's a thing which mon monks can do. Oh, no, that's pretty common. They all have like, they all have like script on their backs. Oh, that's fair. Yeah. It's huge, dude. Yeah. This would be the tallest building in my town. Yeah. And we're like on the side of a uh, riverbank in the Nebraska of Thailand. Just the attention to detail on this thing is absolutely stunning, dude. It's just so crazy that like, there's an abundance of these ones out here and like, Probably like no foreigners get to see them. Yeah. No one in general gets to see them. There's like three people at this whole complex. Inside? Yeah? Okay, we'll just follow this monk. Yeah. So the monk, who doesn't speak any English, is just pointing at this and uh, gesturing us inside. Thailand, you mm. Hong Kong, you up? Yes, excellent. Okay. Thank you, sir. Take your, uh, take your shoes off. Shoes? Off? Oh, my belay, no, uh, my belay, Sh belay. Shoes on. Oh, my okay. Belay. Thank you, sir. Bye. Okay. Bye. <laughs> oh, beautiful. I wish we had an offering to give to Buddha, like some Fanta or something. Is there a coin box? I don't know. Okay. Uh, don't know what I Oh, offering of incense. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Oh, thank you. The button off. Okay, you put it in the basket outside. Ah. Uh, Polukit? Yep. Satana Polukit? What's that mean? I'm not sure. No, no Thai. Thailand? Yes. Thailand? Food? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. okay. Okay, we bow. I'm bowing. Oh, we go on the floor with that. Okay, yes. So, chill, man? Mm-hmm. Just hook on. Just hook. Oh, thank you. And now we bow? So, come at the time. Yep. And we bow. Yep. Excellent. Okay. Ah, and then you put them there. Ah. Thank you, sir. <laughs> there you are. Wow. We did it, Wes. Yeah. Ah. Cup of cup. Yeah, my bag. Thank you, sir. You guys do handshakes? Oh. Yes, you do. Cup oh. of Wow. I'm a now a Buddhist. Yeah. Reformed Buddhist. Thank you. Buddhist seal. Thank you, sir. Very interesting. Where, where is the donation bin, sir? You want to take bot? Money or no? No money. No donation. Okay. <laughs> oh, take it. He wants you to try the bike. <laughs> I, I wasn't sure if they wanted a donation or not, but no, he just wanted to show us the... Uh, the Buddhist practice, where you light the incense and you kiss the floor and bow three times. And now we're, we're reformed Buddhists. Very good to meet you, sir. Thank you for everything. Thank you for everything, sir. We should have shown him the skateboards. Oh yeah, we should put him on a skateboard. Do you want it? Brother. Here, let's see if the, let's see if the monk will say, you want to try? Come here. Try this. Let's see if monks can skate. Put, put your feet on it. Yes. 
Partly in my bin. Yeah, no, no, you, yo, feet, there. There you go. Hold. Heck yeah, skating monk. Woo. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> it's his now. You want? You can have it. Okay. You... <laughs> okay, bye. That should be a, a character in like Tony Hawk Pro Skater, like Skater Monk. Let's get to our destination. Put the kitty on the board. It, it's eye in it. Pick it up. Put it on. <laughs> I swear it's fine. Just let it get used to it. No, get used to it. Get used to it. I swear. <laughs> Dude, on, okay, I'm sorry. All right, we just rocked up to our hotel here. They have a damn leopard. Look. What? What? Don't hiss at me. I want to give you love. Hey, why does the hotel need that? Yeah. Uh, hopefully, maybe like and there's a bunch of kitties here. Hopefully it's part of our hotel experience that we get to stay with leopards. Yeah. I thought the hotel would come with kitties. I mean, it's nice and all, and it only costed like 30 bucks a night, but there's no kitties in here. Hey, look. <laughs> Unconsent, no consent. You're, you're getting canceled. Um, okay, what's the name of this town called? Nakhon Sawan. Uh, how do you say? Nakhon Sawan. Nakhon Sawan. I do not remember any town we visited on this trip. And usually, like, I can tell you, like, whenever I just went on a trip, my whole itinerary. Like, I went here, I went here, I went here. These last three days have not went, remembered one place. We went from Lop Buri to Fitzanulok, and now we're in... Now at Sawan. Cool. And this town has, like, um, a big Buddha on a hill. Yeah, I'll do. They all have big Buddhas. Not of them. Not all of them are on hills in the middle of the city. So that's what we're gonna go check out. Do you like Since we are now Buddhists. Do you like a girl with a big Buddha? Yeah, we are now reformed Buddhists. Oh, we are actually. <laughs> so we got to go do the call to prayer. You know that happens twice a day. Let's go. This is what hotels in Canada are lacking, man. Kitties to okay. greet you at the entrance. Like that. That's how their moms picked them up. They're not phased by it, dude. See? It loves me. They love the kitties. Dude, what do you think would happen if we put him on the bike? Yeah. Hey, mama. The people got to see it in action. The chain coming off. Dude, do you think that you could put it on easier because it's so loose now? Yeah, dude. Like the first time you put it on, it was a struggle. And now since it's loose, it's just like super easy to put on. Yeah. I just realized, I have shorts on and we're going to a Buddhist temple. I should know better. I am now a reformed Buddhist. This place is actually high up. Beautiful gold temple. This place has some gosh darn beauty. There must be some crossover between Buddhist gods and Hindu gods. Well, I know there's a lot of crossover with the two religions, but because that four-faced god there is one in Hindu. I swear I saw Ganesh, which is the elephant. Ah, oh, dude. The attention to detail on these things are just insane. Damn. Really love the Buddhas. It's crazy that like an adventure into uh, the unknown brings us here. We did not plan to come here. This was not a destination point for us. We just saw a close spot on the map to come, a close city. And this is where we ended up. Thailand is full of like hidden gems like this, but I, I feel like everyone just goes to like Phuket and the islands around there, or at least way, way north to Chiang Mai. But I think there's a lot of cool stuff in the middle that nobody checks out, like whatever town this is. The middle of Nebraska, the Nebraska of Thailand. 